Hey everybody, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Today we've got Geisha's Not Gone Wild, but Geisha's Not Gone Mild either. These are really cool. You're gonna like Acer Palmatum Geisha. Geisha is the plant that Geisha Gone Wild was found as a sport on. So Acer Palmatum Geisha is an awesome plant all on its own. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. This is an awesome plant you're gonna really enjoy. And if you sign up for our weekly emails, you're gonna get a heads up when this plant is becoming available. And you'll be able to check out with this plant pretty quickly before it sells out. So a lot of you definitely have seen Geisha Gone Wild on our website. And Geisha is the original tree that Geisha Gone Wild was a sport on, but it lacks no color you know, interest itself. This is a really beautiful plant that's gonna leaf out in the spring a very hot pink. It actually keeps a very hot pink color to it, and then it has some lighter shades of bright pink as well. So a very exquisite pink to it, and uh, an awesome small plant. Works great in container gardens, also in the ground. The main thing to look for with Geisha is giving it some late day protection. You don't want to put this one hot afternoon sun. That'll give you some of the best color patterns. The thing I really like about this plant is it's not just, just amazing bright pinks, which is it is very consistent in the spring and in the fall almost every single year. What I really like about this plant is it has subtle variegation on different leaves. So you've got this light green leaf that has dark green splotches uniquely around the plant. Mm -hmm. And every once in a while, you'll see a curved leaf on geisha that is unique to this plant. And it's just this curved leaf with a dark splotch on it. Gives this plant something very unique, very different. You don't find on any of the other Japanese maples. Mm -hmm. But this one just has such a dense, short habit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one just, you know, it's just tiny, dense, and that ball of pink in the spring is just color for that just stands out in contrast with everything out there in the landscape. For sure, for sure. This one's small, dense dome. It's typically going to be about four feet tall, sometimes four to five feet tall, by about four feet wide, making it a small, compact tree, ideal for container gardening. Now, like Tim said, I actually like that it has some spotting. So you get these little green spots yeah. in it as well. And it just kind of morphs and changes throughout the year. This is one that looks very different from year to year and from season to season. Uh, gorgeous plant though. And it's, it's one that's very interesting to be growing too. I think it's one that complements a lot of other colors in the garden very well, but it's gonna be extremely unique. You compare this with a lot of your other uh, small dwarfs, something like Summer Goldness is gonna look incredible because that color is gonna be such a starch contrast, but it's gonna look equally as amazing besides deep reds because this hot pink is really different than most of your other Japanese maples. I love this plant, but I fell in love this, with this plant our very first trip to Oregon we went and visited Buckholtz Nursery and he had one in a wooden box or maybe even a container. I think it was in a container. And this thing was just electric pink in the fall. Mm -hmm. And that electric pink, I was like, what in the world is this? And I got up to it and I was like, we've got to start growing this plant. I mean, it, this plant is simply amazing. It is a plant you want to give really good drainage. I have heard a lot of people say that if the overwater geisha can really start to struggle. Mm -hmm. It is one of the ones that really likes to have it more on that drier side of things. Mm -hmm. But this is a plant that is just makes an excellent container plant out there in the landscape or right near your porch, your patio. Just make sure you give it that protection from that hot afternoon sun. Go very low on the nitrogen on this one. They don't want a lot of fertilizers. Uh, you don't want to go extreme on your nitrogen. Uh, it'll, it'll give it its better winterization and better colors. If you're not over pushing this one, it tends to be very multi stemmed in its approach. So that kind of keeps it a little denser and a little more dwarf, which is a characteristic I really like about this plant. But I, I think it's a fun one to be growing. If you got a patio or an area where you want some neon pink, it's really going to show out and look amazing. I think a big planter is kind of perfect for this one. Now, this is its natural shape. You'll notice this plant's already starting to curve and go sideways with it. It's not a plant that's going to have a perfectly upright habit like something mm -hmm. like a geisha gone wild would have. But this one just has that nice arching habit where it gets almost equally as tall as it does wide. Uh, amazing plant. Again, these are our sizes that we're looking at right now in August of 2022. Great sizes for geisha too. Yeah, if you're looking at this at a earlier, later time, they could be smaller, they could be larger. But this plant is uh, amazing. I, I love this plant just because of how intense those spring and those fall colors are. It's something that will always light up the garden. Hey, if you like colorful plants and you're passionate about this like we are, definitely sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com. We're adding 10, often 20 new plants every single Tuesday at 10. And on Fridays, we're adding flowering content on Fridays at 10. So there's always something new coming to mrmaple.com. You'll want to be a part of that. So sign up for those emails. We greatly appreciate you liking, and subscribing and sharing our channel as well. We're putting out content every single day here to share 
our passion for Japanese maples with you. So we do ask that you take a second, like, subscribe, and comment on it. That helps us out a ton. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.